Alright everyone, welcome back to the Ledger Zelda Skyward Sword HD. Last time we finished the uh, Ancient Cistern, one of the best dungeons in the game, possibly the series, and now we're just past the Silent Realm of, uh, of this area, Lenari Desert. Now we're supposed to go do something uh, over here, but uh, I actually kind of want to do stuff right here. Just get, I want to see if I can get some bird feathers. And not the target then? No, apparently not. I'm just gonna ignore you. And I'm gonna stab your butt. Yep, double damage. Ow, no! Oh, sank. This is the danger of uh, staying in front of those guys. But yeah, that double damage is actually paying off really well. I'm actually killing creatures just by slashing at them right now. And this is just the first sword upgrade. We're gonna get get even more damage uh, upgrade later on. Oh, actually, I think it's after the third upgrade that we get damage upgrade, actually. Oh, this thing. I believe we can reach it from here. Also get some money in the meantime. I probably could have done this a lot earlier. And I don't know if I mentioned this in the last video, but uh, my sword beams charge faster. Yeah, I think I did mention it, but uh, it's kind of hard to notice right now. It's going to be a lot more noticeable during the uh, the end game when I get the final uh, sword upgrade. And you can get even more sword upgrades uh, in the uh, hero mode because you start with the, the final upgraded version of the Master Sword. Which means you get like <laughs> super duper Master Sword or something like that. I think, I've never seen it myself in gameplay, but I believe at full upgrade in the hero mode, the sword uh, beams uh, charge instantly. Literally, you don't have to wait to holding your sword up for anything. Ah, oh, he fell down. In case some of you haven't noticed, there were bugs right there. Waka waka. <laughs> Don't believe there's anything in there that we have to do. And if there was, well, we'll have to do it some other time. <laughs> and this, I can go up there now? Yes, I can. I really did think the claw shot was something you got in the next dungeon, not this one. And, and, and to be fair, we didn't even get it in this dungeon. Actually, just uh, the Silent Realm that gave it to us. And there's still two more items to get beyond the Hero's Boat that we're going to get in the upcoming dungeon. How crazy. And I, I think it's the Hero's Boat that we get in the upcoming dungeon. I could be wrong! Again, it happens. And yes, I am mostly doing side content right now because uh, besides the fact that I want to do it... Uh, What are you doing? Is he trying to shield bash me? You got nothing, buddy. What the hell? Not oh, a bird. Dead. Annoying birds. Yeah, I do believe we'll get uh, upgrades to uh, other pieces of equipment that we currently have. Am I going in the right direction? To no, I'm going the complete opposite direction, actually. This is not where I'm supposed to go. I'm supposed to go by here. Okay, I've never gone here. At least, kind of surprised. It's a 
secret area, I guess. I could have gone here before too, is what I'm kind of surprised uh, with. But I wouldn't have been able to get everything, I guess, so... This is a good thing, maybe? <laughs> Ignore the shoes. Not worth the trouble. Now it's just a piece of heart. Yes, it is. Wow, I could have gone this a long time ago. And now, time to use the claw shot. This is why I'm saying it's probably good that I didn't find the secret initially. Because th this is the double claw shot from Twilight Princess. Literally, they're, they're just reusing it. What it's worth, the aiming is a lot better. Because uh, we wish plus slash uh, uh, switch pro controller controls, but uh, still, not, not very <laughs> inventive as far as new items are concerned. They completely removed it for um, Breath of the Wild, the claw shot, and that's probably for the best. Because, uh, like the claw shot, the problem is that uh, it lost a lot of it, the inventiveness of its predecessor, which was the hook shot. And I mean the N64 hook shot, not the Wind Waker hook shot. Because in N64, yes, there were some targets that you could target with the hook shot that you were supposed to use to go places with it, but you could also target and hit. Uh, house uh, roofs and uh, like uh, wooden poles and stuff like that as other optional targets that could make you progress through your adventure. Sometimes sequence breaking something and that made it a lot more fun. The claw shot has no such uh, neat thing about it. It's literally just uh, only hit targets that the game designers wanted you to hit, nothing else. That makes it a little boring. Maybe there's something up there. Isn't that just a machine? Why would I need to do anything else here? There's also the ancient flower though. Well, that's no use. If I get the map here, that's where the X is. Maybe if I talk to you. Okay. What if I do this? Yeah, nothing. But the X is still there. I don't know why. Weird. Ah, I guess I'm just gonna ignore it. Meanwhile, uh, there was the ancient flower. I should pick the ancient flower up just in case. Oh, it's actually in the past, so I have to reactivate the thing. Don't forget, uh, you, you have to get an ancient flower as part of the plot to uh, repair Scrapper. Oh, come on. How was that not close enough? And where do I respawn? Okay, up there. Fine. It's not that big of a deal. I still get to keep the Ancient Flower. Yeah, I guess we're gonna go here now. Yep, it's that area. Y'all remember it? Ow, wrong direction. Oh, and yes, you can damage the uh, moblins uh, while they're uh, technically have their shield up. It is possible. Oh, what's this? Uh, probably just money. One whole rupee, wow. That doesn't reach. Not that we need it, we can just go through here. Yeah, 
And here we go. There's other there's other places I want to go through with the claw shot, and we'll probably visit them as soon as we get uh, near the dungeon or near a place where I'm thinking of uh, doing something with that. Oh, the Goron again. As well as the treasure. Take the treasure first. No questions asked. And the treasure was kind of worthless. Yes, Fi, I would have surmised that myself if I really want to. Lanaryu Sansi. Covered in sand, huh? Makes sense. I almost never get visitors. My name is Golo. Oh, he's a different Goron, not the same one. <laughs> We're searching the legend of the three dragons, one of which is said to live here. At first glance, it would seem that there is nothing in this area, but I know there is something here, and I would just keep on looking. Three name is Link? I see. Not the easiest name to say, is it? Yeah, it probably makes a lot more sense if you gave yourself a weird name here. And how about you, Link? Why are you here? You're looking for a sacred flame? That sounds like something that I've heard of before, but maybe not. Sweet Gorwan, I remember now. I read something about it in ancient scrolls that spoke of the Lenar Yusan Sea. I do not remember all the deal, but you can get to Larry Sansi if you just go straight through here. And you need a small key, too. Oh, he's gonna give it to me. <laughs> Good luck to you. I want to say that this is a gate for um, uh, players who try to sequence break through here, maybe. I say this because, uh, like, if you get here without the claw shot, the game is, like, gonna stop you from making any more progress by just having this guy not appear. They, they pulled some stunts like that in, uh, Twilight Princess, so, uh, it just wouldn't surprise me if they did the same for this game. Oh, cool! Finally got an evil crystal. And we still didn't get the normal bird feather. Wow. <laughs> Say somewhere in this vast desert, there's the dragon who just put in the ability of those visited to some kind of test. You can master the challenges he towards you, you'll be warded with a shield stronger than any other. In other words, a shield that just invalidates all the other shields, which is part of the income of the entire game. But you know, you have to do a challenge to get that, so that makes it worth it. Kinda. Right? Yes, he gets scared by the bombs. That's his problem, not mine. Oh. Yes. Yeah, not attack. <laughs> And yes, you can r run, quote unquote, uh, while uh, down there. Yeah, it's just 10, 11 rupees. This one's probably gonna be even more, I bet. Probably one of them is gonna drop a 20 rupee, I bet. Right? Well, six rupees, almost as much, kinda. Just ignore the fact that it's almost uh, twice uh, less. What about this? What is it? Okay, same thing. There's a passage there, passage up here. What does this say? Hmm. Yes, we have to go the wrong way first. That's how it is for every adventure game. Oops, not the right item. Okay. Oh, it doesn't reach because I've got to reset this one first. I think there's a bit of a naming aid involved when it comes to these things. But yeah, again, like I said, the game only wants you to use this when it wants you to and nowhere else. And because of that, it feels like kind of rigid. Do anything with these guys? 
No, I can't. Wow. I lame. I mean, the game wants us to just to shield it back, but you know. I kind of wish you could just t defeat them in various ways, because they're an early game enemy, you know? Anyway, are these new new bugs? Yes, they are. Sans Shikata. Now there's only the Gerudo Dragonfly we haven't found yet. Yeah, this is the starting area, in case some of you haven't noticed. Oh cool, another evil crystal. That's two. In such a short time, too. <laughs> That also solved the mystery of these uh, claw shot points. You can just ignore it for now. Down here, huh? Claw shot point. But I mean, think about like a lot of people, uh, especially my one of my teachers in gaming programming that stuff uh, mentioned that uh, the locales in Zelda doesn't make much sense in terms of traversal because like who would travel? Using these claw shot points. Why were these claw shot points put here in the first place, you know? Fallout Princess also had a major issue with it, with the dungeon at the end where Howell Castle, you, you need a, a claw shot to be able to climb through the place or something like that. Probably need two, in fact. Anyway, let's actually continue with the plot. And we need to claw shot our way up there, because of course we do. New area. It was once a vast ocean. The water all evaporated. Now the area is a sea of quicksand, which makes very little sense. But okay. Despite being a sand sea, there's still a boat right there with some kind of stone on the back. Yeah, it linked the land with the sea, but the thing is. Where does that sea go to? And yes, there's a fourth area that we haven't uncovered yet. That's going to be like uh, for the third, last third of the game. I believe. Yep. Yes, of course. Obviously. Make sure you're good at aiming, is what this challenge is. And that was me just kind of hoping I could make that jump. If it was Majora's Mask, I would have been able to make the jump. You know, with the bunny hood or whatever. Like, you don't even get damage for falling. Which is probably how it should be, honestly. Falling in the 3D games is just kind of uh, very unappealing combat-wise. It made so much more sense to damage the player in uh, for falling down in the 2D games because pits are so very clear in that game, or mostly clear. In 3D games, it's just too easy to try to make a jump that you think you can make, but you just cannot. Bug, seriously. I'm getting too many of these ants to be honest. I'm kinda hoping I can get some Gerudo dragonflies at some point. I have no idea what I'm doing. But apparently it was the right thing.
Yeah, just regular sword swipes is good enough. Stings are so ineffective too. Oh, I missed one of the blobs. I kinda, I'm kind of tempted to go get the stuff uh, right now, the optional stuff. But I don't think there's enough. Like, uh, I, the problem is that if once I go out to sea, I think uh, basically to go into the dungeon I have to stay in the sea. Which causes a bit of an issue, you know? Just looking around. There doesn't seem to be anything else to do here. Just a big, big area. To the sky. We'll come back here later. Yeah. Also, apparently the Thunderdome cloud place over there, there was no rain in the original, from what I've been told. I don't remember it that way, but if that's what they say, then good enough. Okay. Got two treasure chests to find, apparently. Okay, I'm actually gonna put uh, things on them. Now they're there forever, but whatever. <laughs> Surprisingly enough, we still haven't found a fun fun island uh, thing, Jimmy. It could have been. I could have potentially found it in the, the new mine facility, and I just don't remember. I'm just not really tempted to search for it yet. Wow, buddy. You just crashed right into me. What an incompetent buffoon. Anyway, I guess it's up here. Yeah, the thing wasn't put properly on the island. And it doesn't go on the island at all, never mind. <laughs> Oh, it's the one down there, yeah. Okay, game. And now I'm gonna get rescued by one of those. No, it's just damage? Okay, so if you're too far from uh, the, whatchamacallit guys, you just get damaged. And not even, you, you don't even lose a heart. There's no damage for falling down a pit in this game. Oh, another life medal. Oh, this is different. Wait, I, th I think it's different. Because we've got the heart metal here and life metal here. Because I think there's a metal that restores your hearts uh, over time and one that just makes more hearts appear. In that case, I might actually have to remove something from my equipment soon. Because I can't. Also, because I can't equip anymore, but you know. <laughs> anyway. Now we gotta go. All the way over there. What the hell happened right there, wearing the Loftwing? By the way, remember when the Loftwing was supposed to be important? <laughs> Loftwings don't really turn out to be important at any point in this game. Like, we're supposed to have some kind of inseparable bomb with our Loftwing, but they're really not that special, besides the fact that they're red. Kind of a shame. Especially when you compare the bond that uh, the player character forms with the Pona and even the King of Red Lions. And those characters, well, Epona at the very least was, wasn't very important. King of Red Lions obviously was very important. But Epona, technically, you can beat Ocarina of Time without uh, her. Uh, same thing with Majora's Mask if you know sequence breaking. Uh, but uh, I believe she'll always show up in the ending no matter what. And uh, 
Twilight Princess, of course, uh, opponent is again very important because you have to do horseback fighting with uh, her. Loftwing, you don't really do anything. There is a boss battle with uh, involving them later on, but uh, you don't fight on them. You just have to be in a combat situation against the boss with them while uh, you're trying to get to the boss properly. It's kind of a mixed bag. I guess the real problem though is that you don't even get to name your Loftwing. They really should have gotten a name of some sort. Nope, just go right, right into the water. It's, it's small island that has a pool just happening to be inside of it. Oh, what's this? Some kind of mushroom? And a fairy. Uh oh, hearts will appear more often as long as you're carrying this. Okay, it's just automatically sent to the item check. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how it's done, but it's done. So we don't have to worry about that. So now, now that I think about it, I guess we do in fact have 12 hearts on us right now. The heart medal that I got earlier, I, I thought was actually um, something that extended my heart containers, but no, it just makes uh, hearts appear more often. A very important in hero mode, by the way. Like, in normal mode, they're not very important because uh, we get hearts of plenty. But in hero mode, hearts don't appear normally. So having the, those medals actually make hearts appear at all, you know, to begin with. So that's important to know. Then we're going to go to Skyloft, do something there. bird just barrel rolling while it was uh, coming to view. A small bird back there. Weird. Look at all this water constantly falling down. Skyloft. Where does it go, I wonder? It must be constantly raining while the people are down there. probably side quests I can do in here actually. Like I, I remember some kind of pumpkin throwing a minigame involving the bow. But obviously we don't have the bow with us right now so can't do much about that. Um, okay there's one up here and one there. Uh, I think it's onto the czar. It could actually just be inside. Let's check it actually. You know if we can find an opening. Let's see if Petrus uh, makes any progress here. The life medal increases the amount of heart containers that we have, so let's actually move to storage this heart medal. And I bet I'm gonna get another heart medal right here. <laughs> oh no, 300 rupees. That's actually really good, because now that means I can buy something extra from Beetle. Uh, can I upgrade anything here? Hey. I don't think so, but. Yeah, I still need a blue bird feather. One more tumbleweed to upgrade this thing. I was actually kind of hoping to find one where I was, but it was not to be the case. And again, I need bird feathers. Where do I get bird feathers from? Here, just horn and lava. Now, there's one thing I forgot to mention that uh, Hookshot and therefore also Clawshot 
can hook onto, and that's patches of grass hanging from a, a ledge or something like that. I believe the claw shot can do this in this game, much like the hook shot could in the N64 versions, I think. Or to some degree, maybe. But uh, that's something that at the very least they managed to keep for this game, I believe. We're about to find out right now. Also, is there a sky beetle already? Just checking. Yep. That's how you get up here. And the best part is that the player has to figure this out themselves. Uh, it's this aisle, not the up one all the way up here. But there's also these guys right here. Goddess Plume. You're a weird one climbing all the way up here. Hey, if you try to dive off the ledge here, I bet you could land in the nest on top of the tower down there. But what do I know? I'm a stone. The nest? Top of the... Oh, yeah, I see it. Um, I guess I'll do it right now. Rip. I failed. Yeah, it's because if you hold all the way uh, down on the the stick uh, that makes you um, move, that makes you dive straight forward. Well, if you want to move a bit uh, to to the side, you need to just gently push it up. Well, let me get all the way back. Here. Now, instead of wasting too much time, I'm actually just gonna get this real quick. I don't want to people. I don't want to keep people in too much suspense over what might be in there. No droopies. Wow, I should have spent some of my money. Because of that, we just wasted a little bit of it. But it's still good that we got it. Yeah, but you know, now that we have a. Well, wallet, we actually can't attempt that challenge right now because it's going to be a waste, probably. Where is Beetle? All over there. I think I can buy one more pouch from him, too. I don't know if I should. Yeah, you know, I really want to buy the bug uh, metal from him. That way we'll probably be able to find the Guru to Dragonflies. Yeah, he sells the last adventure pouch, wow. And as well as a, an upgrade to my wallet. But I want the bug metal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And now I believe this is sold out forever. But we're gonna have to buy one more pouch and more wallet, of course. And obviously, I think this is the last life medal that we'll ever buy. Because having two life medals equipped is what you need to get full hearts. Actually, it's possible there's an extra amount of life medals. You know, for players who are like that. But if you want to have exactly 20 hearts, you need to just uh, actually make sure that you only have two equipped. Because I think there's only 80 hearts to collect normally. So that's something to... That's fun. <laughs> Okay, now let's try to land on that nest up there. Because wasting time is what I do, especially with already half an hour past just since I started the video. Oh, and we can see where the insects are. 
I think. Oh yeah, yeah, we 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 saw them right there. Insect detected. Is insects on that nest? Wow. Okay. Okay. Well, that's cute. Just a little less visible on the map to the screen than I expected. But uh, maybe that's a good thing. It means it's less clogged up. Rip. I was holding up too much. Is there a hole in there? Yeah, I thought there was a hole right over there. Must have been seeing things. Friends, I probably will get nothing except a couple of rupees out of this. So you'll probably have to skip ahead of the video a bit to, to see the action progress. What the hell, game? I wanted to jump off. There we go. Much better. What is that? Time to use this. A rattle, it's a baby's toy. I don't remember a baby in this place. Hmm. Well, this is a side quest that I probably need to finish right now <laughs> to see who this belongs to. I don't think it belongs to the kid in there. They're a little too old to have a baby's toy, I think. Maybe, oh, maybe the guy in uh, the shop in the bazaar, actually. He has a baby on his back. Possibly him that needs it. Yep. Welcome. Sorry, I shouldn't be sorry in front of a customer. Yeah, I recently I've been able to sleep at night. Ah, sorry, I shouldn't be able to complain in front of a customer again. Ah, hello. What kind of a hobo side will find this here? Huh? Nah. The air potion! Ah, so that's why they weren't giving it to us before. That's what the blue potion is for, in case you're wondering. How do I present the rattle? Is it really not this guy I'm supposed to present it to? Hmm. Oh, also I can get the, the maximum power of this uh, potion. Oh, I probably have to present this to the rattle to them at night, not during the day, because they're working. Yeah, okay. 
Can I have good too? No, I can't. So let's find a bed, go at night, and give to them then. Probably get gratitude crystals out of uh, doing that side quest. Which is a good thing, because it's been a while since we've gotten some. Time. And now we're gonna wake up to the screams of a crying baby. <laughs> uh, it doesn't look like I'll get much sleep tonight. Again. Are you tired? Uh. Definitely. This is just normal for adults, by the way, who have children. <laughs> the baby always wakes up whenever you don't want them to, but that's just normal. Every three hours, honestly. A rattle would not be good enough. Just saying. Yes, I already got the rattle. Oh wow, that baby is kind of low poly. The solution to get sleep as an adult is actually to uh, get someone else to take care of the baby for you. <laughs> Just gonna say that right now. And now we're at 18. Of course the mom snores loudly. I probably should have slept and made a day again, but uh, whatever. Just kind of hoping you had something, cat. I do believe Batho is going to give us something else here. Ah, uh, uh, we need 20 or no, 30. Wow, okay. I actually thought it was either 15 or 20, but 30 is actually quite a decent amount we have to get for another reward. Especially because uh, there's lots of side quests that I'm just blatantly ignoring. But speaking of side quests, I'm actually gonna see what I'm gonna call it in the academy. See if he wants another stamina potion already. And also, are there insects here? They are. One right there. Wow, we can fatal blow the freaking bats. That's hardcore, man. Oh yeah, got another sky stack beetle. Another insect over here. Oh, well, it's just a freaking blue butterfly. Those are actually quite common, despite the fact that they're supposed to be magical. <laughs> An insect right there? Weird. I 
inside the pots. Oh, some kind of mantis. I'm surprised we haven't found an extra bottle just yet. Such a long time. Hmm. Hey, bud. Don't worry, I've got the drugs. Yeah, that's the stuff. Not about numbers. Are there two crystals? Nope, not yet. I do believe this is the last time we have to give him a stamina potion, though. I don't know. If we need to give him one more, we'll, we'll have to see that later. But I only remember having to give him two stamina potions. Not three. And we can't go through there. Whatever, we should go into bed right over here anyway. It's also not just about working out though. For building up uh, muscle and stuff like that to get fit, you really need to also get follow a, a diet. like. One of my cousins is a vegan, and he only started being a vegan when he really wanted to work out. And he also started working out really hard uh, at the same time, and now he looks extremely fit. Like big arm muscles, uh, kind of very thin legs though. He's got a weird physique, now that I think about it. He looks obviously very fit, but uh, the most uh, notable thing is that uh, even though he's got big arms with uh, good uh, muscle and a kind of a busted shoulder because uh, he fell off of his bike once. His legs look extremely thin, like really thinner than mine, with the uh, veins popping out of them. So it makes me think that he's mostly got upper body mass compared to lower body mass. Oh, well, whatever. It's none of my business now anymore. Um, oh good, it's right there because it always respawns. Yeah, gotcha. I probably really need to get a bigger net. That's gonna be for some other time. Oh, what do you have to say? Well, I do have a potion kill someone with. Yeah. I didn't see a girl anywhere though. She, she might not be under the clouds by the way. It's possible where she's just in one of the spare aisles uh, where they were random. Oh, there she is. Bonk. Oh, you're the sister. It's, uh, I was wondering where you were. Oh, it has to be burn medicine. Of course. Yes, he's been doing that for... Quite some time. Worthless birds. If only our bird had this kind of sickness. That would be very pluck of me to get us stranded somewhere, actually. The game never does that, though. 
Like we already had the bird getting uh, locked up in the beginning to prevent us from flying right away. I'm not gonna do anything like that now. Yeet! Give me medicine. Oh, mushroom spores. Wait, what do you mean I'm carrying too much? Oh, he wants to give me a new bottle. Okay. And do you have any grudge to crystals for me? Man, am I really gonna have to give him another potion? I wanna say no, but... <laughs> Can't he just buy his own? Yeah, I gotta store something else. Oh, what? Plot advancement? Ugh, darling. Yep, it's love. Yeah! Please. I guess maybe the plot advancement of this thing is related to how many times you see her. That would be good actually, considering it would make this uh, a lot more uh, natural. But uh, I want to say it's locked behind initially for a bit. Anyway, we just lost a heart container. Yeah, anyway, now she's completely fallen in love with us. And I don't know if that means we're ready to finish the side quest, but... Uh, there's actually two endings to it, and I don't know if it actually changes her behavior based on how you end it. I'm actually gonna go for the um, other ending this time, compared to when I first played the game a long, long time ago. Just because I want to see the results. Because I know what happens if you accept her feelings. Yes, now we have a third bottle. Finally! I wish I could rearrange my stuff, but whatever. No, we know definitely the next time we see Beetle, we're definitely buying the last adventure pouch. Eight spots is not that much when you think about it. Especially because there's supposed to be a fourth bottle somewhere. Sad that this island exists solely to for this girl to land on. Wow. <laughs> Why would I just refuse? That makes no sense. Mm. Yeah, no time at all. And there's the gratitude crystals, but we know we need 30, so this is kind of worthless. Don't need seven more. Mm. Bye. I think that was the last side quest we have to do with that character. And that was the first one, too, so that's kind of too bad. Surprise I'm surprised it wasn't related to um, Fun 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 Island guy. I actually did think for some reason that uh, she was stuck uh, down below the clouds with uh, that hunt on guys thing. Anyway, it's almost been an hour. I probably should uh, at least get to the dungeon of the sea. Because there's still stuff to do there. And it's pretty cool stuff too. This guy looks important. Too bad he's ancient now. Ah, but this is a time stone. 
And I cannot jump off of this place, by the way, in case you're wondering. Well, this is interesting, especially with the water appearing out of nowhere. The sand sea has become just a sea. Because that's how it was in the past. Proud skipper of the ship that protects Neru's Slame. We protect your ship. We know what Neru's Slame is. It was the day of the storm. We and I were navigating the sea as usual. And of those brutes, the pirates suddenly attacked us. They were after Neru's Flame. My, my crew was imprisoned, and I was thrown to the sea. Drifted on the current to the sport. After that, I took this boat and went searching for my ship and crew, but they were nowhere to be found. It haunts me, wondering where my ship could be. I bet my hat they turned the ship invisible and I hiding out somewhere. You can't see it! Why not? Why would it have a function to turn invisible, guy? Yes. I'll help. Yes, it's out of date. Or it's actually too much up to date, rather. Let's go. So yeah, interestingly enough, we're actually going to travel to Sansi and it turns into the past as we go around. And that's actually a really cool effect. Very memorable. A lot of people actually consider this part of the game to be one of the highlights. If not the highlight. And yes, we can... Cannon. And you press B to go faster, because... I mean, that's how it would work. You can't change the camera's direction, though. go faster, but you know. We're getting out. Yeah, but you can't move away from the ship because otherwise you become ancient again. Literally cannot wander far from the boat. Let's just activate this real quick. That looks like whip stuff. Die. What the hell? Why aren't you going away? Annoying creature. Die. Not reach. Hmm. Could have gone over there. What the hell? Game didn't want me to go there. It's actually because I was too far into place to do anything. Hmm. We have to jump from above? Probably. Ah, 
I imagine some people might not even realize you have to do this, something like this with this creature. Anyway. What? what? Why didn't you dive, Link? <laughs> Normally you dive when you jump from a platform like that. Apparently not this time. Guess we'll have to do this some, somewhere else. Wasn't fast enough. Oh yeah, you need bombs. And it fell down. Gone forever. Can I get get reach that chest now? Wow. Never mind, I just lost some progress. How is it that I cannot die? God. I guess it's because we're not uh, uh, above a bottomless pit of some sort. Well, not bottomless, but a sky, you know? some other time. Okay, I've had enough of collecting these bugs. I've... How many do I have? Thirteen. More than any other bug. Oh no. That's a metal shield. Yep, just keep, uh, he just kept turning and he almost pushed me off, but, uh, not quite. I was trying to attack that creature. Well, cool. only two hits to defeat those creatures now. This. Stamina doesn't restore while we're doing this, though. Something to consider. And now it's way too far to go over there. If you want to go all the way down there, you use this. You grab that. I don't believe it lets you come back, by the way. <laughs> so don't try it. the thing you want to release it but I have to show what happens when you try to attack it dead bird 
Can you drop a bird feather? Of course not. Why would I get something as nice as that? Come on, game. It went right through it. To be fair, I am firing these things uh, a bit quicker than I probably should. Finally, some dragonflies? Gerudo dragonflies? Okay, we found at least one of every single bug. It's about time. Now we just need to find uh, one bird feather and we'll have uh, every single normal collectible item filled up. Except for that other item uh, that's part of the quest line or something. Yay. Um, let's get rid of you first. slow. I swear there's an item that allows uh, enemies to drop uh, their drops more often. Oh, one thing these claw shots can't do that the Twilight Princess ones can is uh, hang down further and something like that. Like extend the chain or something. That's kind of too bad. I finally got all the way to Skipper's Tavern or whatever. Oh, come on. Oh no! I was moving it a little too quickly. That's a shame. I mean, I already have one of every single uh, bug, but, you know... Not enough of that one, I think. Anyway, what are we gonna have to do in here? Clean up the mess, that's what we're gonna have to do. Oh, we can sit here, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Fi, but I'm aware that you know how many hearts I have left, too. So, uh, all things considered, uh, that was kind of rude of her to say that. Because she, in the original Wii version, she would constantly tell you when your hearts are low. So, for her to, so that means she absolutely knows how many hearts you have left at all times. And for her to just say, uh, oh, uh, we should only rest after we've completed our objective, is kind of like uh, counterintuitive to what uh, she's supposed to feel like about your safety, because she constantly wants you to have a lot of hearts. Also treasure chest. What is inside? Sea chart. Ancient sea chart. That's the ship, apparently. <laughs> and even the Titanic uh, reference. It was very difficult to notice in the Wii version, a Titanic reference. Okay, come on, this is literally abandoned. Why would you not want to get that? Anyway, that should be it.
Oh, is this from where we're supposed to do it? Oh, so that's how you dive. Okay. It has to be from a platform dedicated to it. Oof, two hearts. Two hearts indeed. Funny, we do need some. That's not what I wanted. Literally, the slingshot has been very useless for some time. enough to fully heal. Anyway, I got the chart, buddy. Yep. Now let's extend that sea quite a bit. And obviously there's a little thing right here that we'll be able to go through at some point, so I'm going to put a thing right there for now. And there's something all the way over here. That. Gotta go fast. I'm actually probably going to... This is going to be an extra long episode because I fooled around so much in Skyloft. Which side quest I had to do. These rocks appearing out of nowhere make no sense. There should be some residue of them, even in the, this, this time. And was that a some kind of a explosive? Yes, it was. Ha! I'll run you over. Ignore them. Shipyard. This looks like a dungeon area, but it's not, apparently. Looks more like a roller coaster ride, actually. <laughs> That's that's what we think of uh, when we say shipyards, right? Roller coasters with mid-air jumps. That's what it, shipyards are, huh? In real life. Oh, but it's sealed. Hopefully it's got time stones in there too. Because otherwise those minecarts are useless. Can't forget to activate this. Hey, it's been a while since I fought uh, some of you guys. Much easier to defeat. What the hell? How did you get here? You're a Goron too, so it makes even less sense. Oh, we, we don't need a time shift stone. And yes, I forgot to read the instructions. That's too bad. 
Whoop, make sure to lean. This is a Mario Party minigame. I think we all know it. I should add Link as a playable character in Mario Party DLC. What the hell? Why are we moving so quickly? Any instructions for North Card here? Nope. Apparently not. Those are dragonflies. Cool. You and your friends don't stand a chance. My card right here, and you know what? I want to see what happens if we do this. Does it give us the opportunity to go back? I wonder. Yes, it does. Okay, that's good. So we're gonna go back down again, <laughs> one more time. And then we're going to read the instructions, and then uh, we'll come back up through here, if it allows us and doesn't uh, ditch us, that is. Approach the card. In your body to bounce the weight of the card as you approach a curb. You can press B to slow down and jump up to clear obstacles. How do you jump? <laughs> Guess we'll just have to figure it out when we get to it. I mean, this place is kind of huge. And yet all of it is wasted on minecart rides. The construction pig. What about you, though? I guess they're just gone. I want to say pressing up is what makes you uh, uh, jump up, but we'll see. I think I have to lean there to change direction. Why would they have dead ends? I almost went in the wrong direction right there. Am I going backwards? Feels like I'm going backwards. Apparently I went in the wrong, right direction. Somehow. I do wonder what the other place uh, would have uh, sent me to. Maybe a piece of heart. I guess I'll have to do that thing one more time. Before we're gone here. Master, we arrived at a shipyard construction bay. For the past many years, this structure has filled with sand. I recommend looking into sand for a clue that may direct you to the location of the ship. Jump into that dead trap? Sure! Is that a dusk relic right there? Okay, no, it was just one of those things. And 
these things are so ineffective. I don't know why I was ever creeped out by them. Oh, would you look at that? It's that boss that we fought before. Now we have to fight it again. Yeah, y'all remember when I said this thing will become a mini boss? This is what I meant. And I do believe we're gonna fight it one more time. There, finally. Did the jumping backwards thing. And we've never seen this attack before. That didn't work. Oh, come on. I did it at the right angle. You're revealed. Stop. Pulling around. Let me stab you in the eye. One more stab? Yep. Yeah, so see how much easier it was to fight this thing now that I knew how to jump backwards and that my sword deals double damage. This is why this boss has already become a mini boss. Extremely low. And yet we had to do this anyway. And we can't go back up, god damn. Yeah, I don't care. Doing the minecart thing one more time. What does this say? Shipyard center. Okay. Wee! Minecarts! Uh, this is technically me wasting time, but I guess the video is just gonna be two hours now. Faster. Faster! How are we moving so fast when we're going upwards anyway? This is not how roller coasters work. We need to build up speed for the momentum. So I have to go right when there's a, an intersection that isn't clear whether one's a bad one or the other one's not. I could also just break to make sure I can have enough time to make my decision, but eh, that's kind of lame. Oh, if you screw up at that uh, intersection back there, you just keep go going on a loop, I believe. Not the intersection, the next one I believe. Right here. What the hell, man? I almost fell! <laughs> that was so fast! And yeah, it just loops you back to here. So both paths would have led to the same way, just the right path is a bit faster, I guess.
Well, that was it. Now we're back here. I guess we're just gonna find, uh... Well, nothing. I don't believe there's anything new. Yeah, substantially unfavorable odds of 0%. I can understand, Fi. I get the sarcasm. I was just making sure I hadn't missed anything. And we kind of did miss some lore. That's something, I guess. Let's go. Um, yep, figured it would be up here. Yeah, there's not much to explore, unfortunately, in this vast sea. There's that one area over there, top right, that looks optional. It is not. Basically our last stop after we're done over here. But this is not, this is no great sea area. Not even, like, just smaller scope or something like that. It's just get to point A to point B. And avoid some enemies on the way. I see that j cube at the top of that thing, by the way. Yes, because you can't go anywhere else. Incidentally, this is not what I thought the part stronghold would have looked like from a distance. It looked a little different, but that's what I'm saying. From a distance, that is. How do I get on top of you, is what I wonder right now. Go the into here. There's bugs right there. Huh. Weird. I could also um, use the beetle to get a good view. Okay, there's a door there that we'll escape through when we're done. That makes a lot more sense. Still not the dungeon, even though it could have been. of a mini dungeon but it is extremely linear <laughs> I 
Oh, you guys alive. Damn it. Whoops, they do the they do the show you can if you uh, hit their their arm uh, the way they expect you to. And I was not supposed to swing my sword that way. And yes, they can not breathe fire. Oh come on, I keep trying to parry. Damn it. Trying to get rid of the fire, but it wasn't working. Yeah, very good. That's better. Sorry. Time shift cube or orb. Now we can literally carry the past around with us, however little sense that makes. Let's just ignore everything. Uh oh, kind of hard to ignore that. Oh, how is it that your laser can literally travel through time, buddy? Yeah, I had to kid. I had to destroy one of them. And one spin attack is enough to get rid of them. Yeah, that's quite a precarious situation that you can get yourself into, and actually I should get this real quick. Because I believe if I bring the time war orb over, it's gonna be blocked off. And it's just money. Yep. Ancient flower. There is another one over there, let's get it. I gonna do leave this here and then open the gate a very difficult puzzle that should be close enough That's how you get that chest! And it's an evil crystal. I mean, we've only gotten three of these things so far, so it is fairly rare. Just ignore them. Ignore everything! Oh, come on. Just because I was too close? Better be dead. Yes, I get that. Don't need to show me that game.
I mean, I noticed that thing immediately while I was entering here, but uh, I knew there wasn't much I could do about it. Push it here. Oh, but wait, no, I'm, I'm blocked off. Whoops. I did not think this through. Yeah. That's better. Or is it? Yep, just barely. <laughs> oh no, it was a trap all along! Uh, was it? Not really. But there is something to notice there, according to the game. It was just a monster horn. It's like, whatever. I swear to god, I really wish it was B to put stuff down. Okay, I'm almost dead. Jesus. Is, again, this, oh, this is a part of the reason why combat is so exciting in this game. You can't just pause and uh, have a potion ready for you, you if you're in danger. You have to, you have to use it in combat. So running to safety first is what most people will do. That's what I want to do before, by the way. <laughs> Not that hard, guys. around. And I can't do that. The game doesn't want to let us. And I can't do that either. Because it blocks out the passage. Oh. Duh. That's why the game was showing us that or because there was a switch here all along. Not these guys. I do believe I need to use the gust pillows. Oh come on. I hate that there's two of them. That makes things extremely inconvenient. One down. And that's two. Much better. Finally, can put it there. And now the whole structure comes alive. Yep, now it's just where the real dungeon is. Mm-hmm, I think we've all noticed. Man, now I think about it, it's kind of rough for Link to open these doors. He's got to always lift them up from the bottom. Do 
Jeez, this, this is taking way longer than I expected, by the way. I thought uh, we were going to be done this part uh, relatively quickly. Because this is still not the real dungeon. And there it is. That's how you get to this. And yeah, that wasn't the door, that was just this thing all along. So what do we do here? Well, there's where the bugs are. In the crates, probably. Uh, I see. So we were supposed to just walk by here and then she would have collected the uh, information for dowsing. And now guess where we need to go? There's only one area we haven't gone through in this place. The sea, that is. Uh, can we douse while on the ship? Yes, we can. But we have to douse while going around in the sea. Because the ship is invisible, remember? But I also kind of want to go to the... Top right, northwest, northeast area of this place. Which is something to consider. Yeah, it's all the way over there. Obviously. Can we pass through here? No, we cannot. It would be far too interesting to be able to get off the ship uh, while we're in the middle of the sea, you to dive down and see what the depths have, by the way. That's why they don't let you stop. Uh, hello? Not gonna let me stop here, huh? Probably because it's where the ship is gonna be once we're done. Anyway. We were literally right on it, that's why we didn't hit anything. It's moving faster than we expected.
There we go. I kept getting really unlucky right there. As you can see that the the cannon is uh, being affected by the thing of the ship. But I kept getting extremely unlucky and missing it every single time. It's actually kind of sad. And we're just gonna go straight into the ship, huh? Well, it suits me just fine. This video has been going on for way longer than it should have. This is the actual dungeon. The sand ship. Yep, see? So I guess the northeastern area is just uh, probably to return? Is there a save point, by the way? It seemed to be. It's actually probably just behind this thing. No? Well, that's depressing. In that case, let's get out of here. Because <laughs> I need to save. I mean, there are auto saves, and there's probably been one for uh, us going here, but. Uh... Yeah, see? Sand ship. Right here. That's what the northeastern area is for. All along. If you want to get into the sand ship, you go all the way here. But what we need is a safe point. So. Go back to the entrance. Anyway, that'll be it for this video. Hope you've all enjoyed it, and I'll have a very nice day. Next time, the Sand Ship. Bye-bye!